This simple yet proven four-step framework is responsible for upwards of 69% conversion rates on organic YouTube traffic, 46% conversion rates on ice cold Facebook ads. So if you want to enjoy conversion rates like these for your landing pages, that's more leads and signups with the same traffic you have now, this is the simple framework to copy for yourself. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur and marketing geek. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our copy published landing page template and playbook so you can get up and running in the next few hours. Now, even though the point and goal of our landing page is to collect contact information, simply have a, having a page saying, hey, give me your email so I can sell you some stuff later, probably isn't gonna work too well, right? That's gonna be a really low converting landing page unless people just enter fake emails. So what we need to do is use a proven persuasion framework to essentially tell people why they should opt in and of course offer them a tangible reason. And so with that, we're going to use something called the ADA framework. It stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. And we'll start things off with attention at the very top. This is going to be our headline. It could be our a pre or post headline as well if you wanna get fancy. But essentially we wanna let people know when they hit our landing page, you're in the right place. And the headline is going to promise a results, so something that they want to achieve, and then it's also going to talk about something that they want to overcome. So it's gonna say, hey, you can get this result, and we're gonna help you sidestep this roadblock, or we're gonna help you break this roadblock. We can go through details of um, copywriting later, but that's essentially what we want to do with the headline. And then, since most people aren't going to opt in by just reading the headline alone, we need to create some interest around what we're offering. And that's going to be interest around, of course, our lead magnet, which is what powers this entire page. So link in the cards in the description to a full-blown video that goes through all different lead magnet ideas, right? But without a lead magnet idea, this persuasion framework kind of falls apart because we need a reason for people to opt in. And that's what the lead magnet does. And so we're gonna have three or five bullet points that talk about how the lead magnet is going to help them achieve the results that they want and break through or avoid the roadblocks that are in their way of getting the result that they want. And of course we do three or five because apparently studies of human psychology and lots of conversion rate testing has shown that odd number of bullet points seem to convert better. So. I'm not sure why, but go ahead and do three or five bullet points. You really don't need more than that. So that's all there is to creating some interest. Then we're going to build some desire. And the best way to do this is to show some media appearances, to build up some credibility, and then of course have testimonials from other people who've used this lead magnet or worked with you in the past and have achieved uh, results that your ideal customer cares about. Now, of course, at this point, most of us go, well, I haven't paid a giant media company hundreds of thousands of dollars to be featured. And and I don't have testimonials because I'm just getting started. So what the heck do I do? Great question. You can just quote yourself. I know it sounds silly, but 99% uh, of our landing pages, I just add a quote to myself. I really sh should collect some testimonials. Uh, the only time we actually make an effort with testimonials is when we are doing paid traffic. So that would be the only time I'd say really get some testimonials there. But uh, if you're doing anything organic or social, Coding yourself is probably going to work just fine. And then finally, we need to drive some action. This is where the rubber meets the road. And this is the whole point of this page, right? To collect that contact information. Now, as a general rule, the more information you ask for, the lower your conversion rates are going to be, right? So at bare minimum, just ask for the email. And at bare maximum, please just ask for the email unless you really need some other information or you are just a conversion savant and you get so many leads, you need to start filtering them out at the beginning of your sales process. Then you could ask for more information. Please don't go copy some big corporations form you saw where they ask you like 21 questions, right? That's not what you need to do here. So just grab that email and let people know they should enter their email here, make the button really clear that this is where you enter your email so you can get this awesome lead magnet that we are offering. And so that's all there is to it, to the ADA framework. And that's as complex as your landing page needs to be to enjoy high conversion rates. Now, our first challenge with our landing page is going to be time because upwards of 40% of visitors are gonna look at the headline and they're gonna bounce out in less than eight seconds. So with our headline and grabbing attention, we need to make it really clear who this is for, 
what result we are going to be offering or what roadblocks we're going to be breaking. So this isn't a time to be super fancy or beat around the bush or try to build some curiosity. We just need to be straight and to the point here. So as an example, this headline reads, start crafting compelling sales copy in the next 15 minutes. We clearly communicate what the free offer is going to do, and we instantly break a perceived roadblock of copywriting. So copywriting takes a long time to learn. And so by saying writing in the next 15 minutes, we're breaking through a limiting belief or roadblock that someone believes they have to overcome in order to start copywriting. And so this is where we really wanna make sure that we not just, we, we not just, well, use proper grammar, right? But um, also think about what your ideal customer believes is getting in the way of them enjoying the result that they want and address that either in the headline or at least in your bullet points. So here's another example from Mind pa Valley. Pally Valley, <laughs> and they actually start by breaking a roadblock, immune to overwhelm. Then they promise a result, develop powerful focus, and finally, what the offer is, a 73-minute masterclass. Now, notice how both of these headlines use time as a persuasion technique. In the first one, it's talking about how little time is needed in order to get the result that they're looking for, versus in the second headline with Mind Valley they use time as a way of adding value to the lead magnet and saying 73 minutes, you go, oh, wow, this must have some actual good real information in it. It's not just like a quick five minute video. So there's certain instances where you want to use more, you present more time because it's gonna be a powerful persuasion technique to increase the perceived value of something. And in other instances, when we're talking about our customers actually doing the work, we want to shrink the time. So the space between where your customer is and where they ultimately want to be, maybe they think it's like this and we shorten it and say, it's not three hours, it's only 15 minutes, right? But if we were to reverse these two, it would not work at all, right? In the next 73 minutes for copywriting and then a 15 minute presentation, eh, probably not going to work as well. So just keep that in mind as well because time and money are the two things that are really easy to use in your persuasion process if you can figure out how to make them work. So next, let's take a deeper dive into actually creating some interest. And this is where we use three bullet points to clearly communicate how what we're offering, the free lead magnet, will allow them to get the results that they want. And so this starts to give a little more detail as to what's in the lead magnet, might talk about what the lead magnet can do for them, but we're not talking about how to, right? We're not giving all the bells and whistles away. We're not getting into the nitty gritty details. And so the first part of this step, before we talk about bullet points, we'll rewind a bit and we need an image of our lead magnet, right? Even if it's just a 73 minute video training, we need some sort of graphical representation, 2D or 3D of what it is that we are offering them. So there's something tangible that someone can look at and go, that's what I'm entering my email for. And so you can just use the free version of Canva to whip up some graphics. They actually have product mockups now, so it's relatively easy. Our example landing pages, we just use Canva for pretty much all of them as well. And so you don't necessarily have to really overthink this particular part. Then of course, moving over to the bullet points, we of course want to talk about what the lead magnet allows them to do and also consider some objections, right? Because you might say, hey, you can copyright in 15 minutes and that's probably gonna raise some objections that we need to handle in order to let people know really what we're talking about is possible. So in this particular example, this was for a YouTube ads playbook. Our first bullet point addresses the concern of how much it would cost to get new subscribers and promises they will get subscribers consistently. So this isn't gonna be overly expensive and it's not like a one trick pony or some sort of black hat thing. Like this is something that will work consistently over time. Then we eliminate the roadblock of hours of research. We back up the time promise that's made in the headline. And finally, we remove the hard work of figuring out what type of video to promote using a easy solution. Now, when it comes to creating desire, I think I said create interest and create desire. Supposed to be build interest, create desire. Anyway, when it comes to creating desire, of course, having media, you know, seals and featured on, and then of course, actual customer testimonials would be powerful here. However, most of us don't have the budget to pay for those because actually when you go to most landing pages and sites, they aren't actual organic features. Like when you see featured on, they most likely paid for an article spot. 
that's pay to play is, is most of those. And then number two, we probably don't have a bunch of customer testimonials yet because this is a new page. And so here's an example of what I started doing on all of our landing pages, except for the ones where we run pay traffic. <laughs> we actually do get testimonials for those is we go ahead and just quote ourselves or in this instance, quote myself. So in this particular quote here, you can always pause if you want to read the whole thing. I address the challenges we faced with funnel builders and as building funnels for ourselves and clients, and then presents this playbook and template bundle as an easy solution to overcoming that challenge. And so the key is to acknowledge the actual roadblocks that people are dealing with. We don't just say, oh, everything's easy, right? Like they still have to build the funnel, right? There's, there's still work, but we're saying, hey, we've been in a similar situation this is what we developed to get through it faster or easier. And we think it will do the same for you in your situation. So it's a great opportunity to empathize with whatever roadblocks or struggles they're currently experiencing. They, they being who's your website visitors. And finally, the whole point of this page, the contact form, right? Less is more. If you ask for more information, your conversion rates go lower. If you ask for less information, your conversion rates go higher. It's an inverse relationship. Do you need to ask 21 questions? No. Do you need their phone number the very first time they're coming to your site? Probably not. So when it comes to what information to ask for, the email is always going to get you the information you need to follow up with them. You can send those sales messages and you don't need to do the fake customization in emails because people also enter fake information in the name field all the time. So unless you're using something fancy to make sure that it's their real name, you might start sending emails saying, dear ABC FAK or whatever they decided to quickly type in because they just wanted the lead magnet at the time, right? So it really works well if you just ask for the email, don't try and personalize and customize anything in your emails automations, just in case there's some bad information in there. And you can always ask for more information later. Those people who are going to want to jump on the phone with you, those people who want to do, who to buy your product or service, they're already on the cusp of doing it, right? And uh, you don't need that information right now. You can always collect it later. The only time that we as an agency would actually add contact, add more fields is if we were getting too many unqualified leads. And that was when we were running paid ads. So uh, unless you're running paid ads and you're getting lots of unqualified leads, then go ahead and just ask for that email and get the rest of the information you need later in the process. And that's all there is to it to crafting landing pages that can convert over 50% with organic traffic and over 45% with Facebook ads. Hopefully we can get one that converts to 50 and I can change this the next time we do this. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you have a much better understanding and picture of what to put on your landing page, how to do some of the copywriting. I'll leave a link in the cards in the description to a full blown copywriting guide that goes through all the formulas you would ever need. And also the link in the description to our landing page template and playbook also has copywriting formulas to help you get published as quickly as possible. So if you're looking for a software to actually build out your landing page and your entire funnel for that matter for free, go ahead and check out the link in the description to systemi.io. You can go ahead and create your landing pages, your sales pages, upsell, downsell, send email automations, create your membership site using their free plan. It's what we use. And when you check out that template in the description from us as well, it can be imported directly into your free Systemi account. And of course, if you ever decide to upgrade, we receive a commission as a way to support this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides, just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love. <music>